Hello guys, welcome you on our channel. I tip Jamal. Academic passage number two. Hover Dam. Ancient settler built horses to protect themselves from the weather. They often they often them near rivers which could be used as water supplies for growing crops. But rivers are temperamental and their levels can raise and fall, causing havoc for those who depend on them. Rivers may raise due to spring, ice melt or great rainy storms, which may cause flooding to, to any nearby development. One way that people have controlled river flow has been has been by building dams. This passage contains consists of three paragraphs. Paragraph number two: dam dams block river to form to form la lakes lakes, creating a reliable supply of water even in dry times. One of the largest dams in the world is the Hoover Dam in the United States. Paragraph number three. The dam does more than simply save water through dub through it doubles as a power plenty by using seventeen turbines to generate electricity. Question number one Temperamental means equal tentative unpredictable theoretical um, temperamental means unpredictable. In the first paragraph line three but rivers are temperamental ancient settlers built houses to protect themselves from the weather broke the houses for to protect themselves from the weather they often them near rivers which could be used as water supplies for growing crops but rivers are temperamental Temperamental and their levels can rise and fall in any time. This is unpredictable. Temperamental means unpredictable. Bubbles means copies itself, returns itself, sends two messages, serves a second purpose. Serves a second purpose. Bubbles. Let's see. It doubles as a power plant by using 17 turbines to generate electricity for surrounding cities. The dam does more than supply save water. The dam save water. It doubles as a power plant by using 70 turbines to generate electricity. Save water and save electricity. Doubles. It serves a second purpose. Doubles means two. Save water and generate electricity. According to the first paragraph, what was one possible disadvantage of building cities near rivers? Ancient settlers flooded the newly created lakes with their dams. No, the cities could be flooded when, when river levels rose. Yes, the bank of rivers couldn't sustain proper crop yield. Ancient settlers were unable to generate sufficient hydropower. The cities could be flooded when river level levels rose. In the first paragraph, but rivers are temperamental and their levels can raise and fall. Can raise and fall. It's unpredictable. The cities could be flooded when river levels rose. It's unpredictable. According to the second paragraph, which of the following is an accurate description of the lake made? made? It's over 700 feet high and uses 6 million tons, tons of concrete. It's the largest natural lake in the United States. So one of the oldest lake in the United States, it was created by the construction of the Hoover Dam. In the second paragraph, 
description of lack meat. Let's look at the second paragraph lack meat. In the second paragraph, the Hoover Dam blocks the Colorado River to create Lake Maid, the largest man-made lake in the United States. In the United States. So, Lake Maid, in the second paragraph, it was created by the construction of the Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam constructed the Lake Maid. To create Lake Maid, to construct Lake Maid. Lake Maid, it was created by the construction of the Hoover Dam. According to the passage, what caused the greatest risk for, t for cities built near rivers with the rise and the fall of the water levels, the danger of falling rocks, the cost of maintaining them, the poor yields of crops, no, the rise and the fall of the water levels, it's unpredictable. Which of the following best express the main idea of the passage? The Colorado River created in the Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam is impressive and useful. Lake Mead is the largest man-made lake in the world. The Colorado River is a great source of power. The, the whole passage talks about the Hoover Dam. It talks about the Hoover Dam. Not Lake Mead. Not only Lake Mead, but the, the, the main idea is about the Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam using, uh, using A, B, C, or D. They can be opened or closed depending on how much water is available, available or needed. Dam block rivers to form lakes, creating reliable supply of water, even in dry times. A, B, C, or D. The correct answer is number A. One of the largest dams in the world is the Hoover Dam in the United States. Thank you guys and welcome you on our channel, iTip Jamal.